what we've been learning in our class is basically focusing on Wesleyan's relationship with Middletown. There is definitely like this kind of like awkward tension between what Wesleyan is and what Middletown thinks Wesleyan is and what Wesleyan students think Middletown is. You wonder why this kind of separation has developed. When you look at it over time, you kind of see where it could have derived from. getting going on this site, one of the things I really didn't want it to be was we'll come and we'll dig and I'll tell my students about these studies and we'll do this public outreach, right? Instead it's about sitting down in a room, first of all talking about what archaeology is potentially about. The thing is to sit down and spend some time talking about what, what we might want questions about this site to be. We learned that community archaeology, the meaning of that is just working with the community to form the questions that you are asking and that your excavation is revolving around to see what aspects of the community in particular people are interested in. It's pretty much taking archaeology um, and not making it so much about digging up cool things and putting it in a museum to tell people, hey, this is what happened in Egypt and this was used for this. It's more so um, saying that this is what we found and it somehow connects to how things are now. Um, and that's what we're looking to do with the excavation here at the, um, the Beam and Triangle. The Beam and Triangle was where some of the slaves who were freed or who had worked off for their freedom um, had saved money to be able to buy their own land and build their own houses on that plot of land there. The course was almost in two parts. We had a really reading intensive half of the semester and then we just went out and took it into action. This is our first day. This morning, you know, we, everyone got here, we got set up, um, you know, everyone's like learning as we go so it's been really great yeah we had some um church members the boys are helping me out the first thing that we've done so far is just like take off the top, first layer um, of grass and stuff and we're reached we've reached the um, top soil level right now and then we take a picture of it because we've reached the first context and then we record it i always like to learn something new you know, every day I try to learn something new. So I'm like, archaeology, mm -hmm. never did that. But it was just fascinating. It was fascinating that you can learn so much about a history just by, you know, digging in the earth and looking at artifacts. To be doing something like this in your own backyard that you usually just see on National Geographic in some um, far off place, I thought this would be really interesting to bring it home find out more about my own what backyard. Is it it's a pretty significant site. And my students have been amazing at touring people around the site. They really listened also to what people were asking them about the site and that helped them think about what was really important about this type of archaeology site and they really have reflected on that. Getting down to the privy is getting down to our treasure, um, which is literally like trash. We're hoping to find everyday things that people probably throw out nowadays, but um, more related to what they used to use back then, so we can get kind of a sense of what they used and how they lived their lives at the time. We were pulling out like whole bottles and pieces of ceramic and all this different kind of stuff. So we have already from two weekends this, this huge amount of stuff in the lab. With the material we started to find, it was easy already to start constructing narratives about the lives of people who had lived there. So my final project, I wanted to do um, just doing like oral histories with some of the individuals who go to AME Zion Church and have been doing so for many years, some of them. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk to them and like get a sense of their thoughts and their feelings of the beam and triangle and why they think that history is so important and why it pertains to them. I'm looking kind of at um, how Wesleyan's relationship with the town itself um, relates to other schools like Yale and New Haven and to kind of see like 
if there's a connection between the way the schools were brought about and their connections with the community historically. So in a way, Middletown can be kind of a model um, for other cities. I can honestly say that my students have learned a lot in terms of academic content, but they've also learned a lot in terms of um, perhaps more abstract qualities of citizenship and engagement um, and thinking about their position on campus and the history that brings them to that position. So um, I think this class has, has really done a lot.